Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Good morning, Katie here. Thank you for joining me today. Yeah, it's taken me a few months to get used to my routine of going to the studio. And then all of a sudden, Miso came into my life. And now my routine is completely changed. So this day in my life is gonna be completely different from any other day in my life video I filmed before. So I hope you enjoy the video and let's go to the studio. Two things already went wrong today. One, I couldn't find my keys and it has my house keys, my studio keys, and like everything else. I don't know where it is. Thankfully, my boyfriend had a spare studio key. And also the second thing is that it's always raining when I'm filming a day in my life. Every single time, it's always gloomy and sad. But we're gonna have a good day regardless, so. I listen to your comments. A lot of people said my videos are very dark. I'm sorry, I have not done any lighting in here yet. And my camera doesn't do the best in low light unless I'm like facing the window. First thing we're gonna do is brighten up this room a little bit. Okay, I currently only have this one light and it is a horrible light. It doesn't even do anything. So I have a bunch of packages here let's unbox all this but first I'm gonna put my studio slippers on that's a vibe the only thing is that the floor is very uneven here but a lifesaver I found are these wobble wedges and you could just like stick them underneath things to like even it out. And it came in a pack of 30 and I've had this for probably two years now. These have come in handy. Next thing I got for the ceiling light, first I got these bulbs, these smart bulbs, but individual hanging lights. Whoa. Wait, I've never had a smart light before. This is so fun. I don't think I'm quite tall enough to get this up there, but let's just see. Obviously, I'm gonna eventually hang these, but wow, it is, it's coming together. It's coming together. I also went and bought some of the art supplies that I've been on my wish list for a while, like an electric pencil sharpener. You have no idea how excited I am to have an electric pencil sharpener. Like, this feels like a luxury. I'm not even kidding. And then I also bought myself a big easel because I want to make bigger artwork, perhaps. And I think in this corner, it will be a vibe, you know, like making a big piece of art. All my paints are right there. It's going to be super great. It was really easy to build this one. I got it off of Amazon as well as most of the things I'm unboxing here. So if you're interested, I'll leave my Amazon storefront. Feel free to look at it if you want, if you're interested. I don't know, is that like something that you guys think is helpful? Yeah, enough talking about Amazon. The thing is, I just want to say I'm really excited to make big art. You know, you can look forward to big art and skateboard deck painting. Okay, the easel and this corner over here have turned out so great. I really love this easel, but it's like 1 p.m. now. I'll make some lunch and I think there's a package downstairs. So I want to take Miso with me and then maybe we'll go get like a coffee or something. She has a little bit of separation anxiety and does not like me leaving her. Yeah, it was a little bit too rainy to walk outside, but we did pick up the other package, which I am very excited about. We'll open this and then we'll make lunch. It is 
is a light box for tracing and stuff. Because if you remember, I had that like one I made myself, which didn't work that well. It worked, I mean, I mean it worked, but it didn't work that well. But I'm very excited to use this. I think we're gonna use this a little bit later to start our Peachtober stuff. So yeah, let's make lunch now. Suddenly, the world I used to know From a dream, now here's reality Baby, baby, you are really hurting me Cause every time you tell me I'm good and bad, I'm doing fine But nothing ever changed Nice, okay. Miso sleeping right now after we had a little bit of a cuddle session. <laughs> She is the reason I'm not getting any work done, I swear. Yeah, we're done opening packages for now. It's 2 p.m. right now. Like, that took a lot longer than I thought it would. We're gonna do some Peachtober prepping. It's currently, it's September 25th, so October is five days away, and I have not done any paintings for Peachtober. I was working on another illustration for something that I had to send to my agent. I'm working on that, and then... This is my Peachtober idea list. I have a lot of plans for this month and I really hope this will be the month I finish everything. I'm making a whole separate Arttober video, so that will be out at the end of October or early November. And you'll see if I finish everything. And I will see if I finish everything. I've designated this as my Peachtober sketchbook and I've just been sketching out my ideas. I'm leaving at the end of this week for two weeks. I'm going to this thing called Creator Camp. And then after that, I got invited by Adobe to go to Adobe Max. Anyone is gonna be at Adobe Max, let me know. I'm not gonna be here for half of October. So I have to plan ahead as much as I can and get as many finished and scheduled. It's a lot. I think I'm gonna start the first one today. I'm gonna get started on my first one and I'm gonna test out that light box over there and my new pencil sharpener. Do a little bit of the painting in this video, but I wanna do a whole paint with me. So that will be the next video that comes out. So you will have that to look forward to. This one was a lot lighter than I expected. I thought it would be very heavy, but it is not. out this new pencil sharpener too. Ooh. I love this. I love this. Okay, so what am I doing right now? I am cutting this paper into 9 by 12 sheets so I can then draw my design on here and then trace it on my actual paper. And I'm gonna be using the Aquarello watercolor paper. This paper is really nice. I like it a lot. 100% cotton and hot press paper. And it just is so smooth and it makes colors really pop. I like it. And that's all I have to say about it. So this sheet actually makes exactly four. So I'm just gonna cut up a bunch of them. This paper I'm using right now is the Strathmore drawing paper. I think I've had this since university. <laughs> like I think I, cause I only would ever buy big sheets of paper like this in college. So I think this is how long I've had this drawing paper. Speaking of college, I remember when people would bring their artworks to critiques and not take this little piece off of their paper that would drive me insane i'm like it looks so messy so this is a reminder to you always peel off this part because i know it just looks so messy and not nice 
this is my initial sketches for B. This is the final composition I decided on, so we're gonna draw this bigger. I draw, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. I've had my site with Squarespace for years and I really love it. It's home to my shop, portfolio, and contains anything else you need to know about me. And it's super easy to get started with your own website using their professional templates. They could all be custom tailored to fit your needs. If you're looking to start a store, Squarespace also allows you to sell physical, digital, or service products with a built-in point of sale so you could sell in person by connecting a square reader. Literally, it has everything you could ever need. I love my site now, but I'm thinking of doing a whole refresh in 2024. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see the process of. I think that could be a fun video. And if you're ready to start your own website, head to squarespace.com slash katiemai to get 10% off your first purchase of a website and domain. Thank you. That was super easy to trace, but I am losing light quickly already and it's already 3.45. Like, the day has been going by so fast. I definitely did not do everything I wanted to do today. So what was I gonna say? Filming painting reels this year again. So I have my phone tripod next to me. So I have you guys, my phone tripod and my phone, which will be recording everything. Started, I originally was gonna do like flowers in the background, but I wanted this little bulb thing to be a piece of garlic. So I drew like garlicky type plants. I'm waiting for a very exciting shipment actually today, so maybe that will come in time. And then after we paint, I'll show you like a little sneak peek. Okay, this is the setup right now. I have my camera tripod, which I'll be filming the paint with me. I have my phone tripod for the reel. Then we have the painting, my paints, water, all that stuff that I need for painting right here. And I'm ready to paint for like the next hour or so. Hello, let's do a little painting voiceover. What do we want to talk about today? I definitely should have planned what I was going to say. Oh, it's been a year, pretty much the day that I quit my job in insurance marketing. My last day was last September 30th, literally one year ago, and it somehow went by so fast. And I'm just getting into a solid routine, except now I'm leaving for two weeks, so I'm going to have to start all this over again. And I don't want to leave Miso, but I had this planned before I adopted her, but my cousin is coming to stay with her, and I think it's going to be great for her. But yeah, I feel like I'm leaving my child. I find it so hard to stay in a routine, especially when I'm working for myself, but it's the only way I'm able to get work done is if I schedule like everything every single second. And having Miso has been really great because it has forced me to take on more responsibility and set a strict schedule because she needs like a strict potty schedule and all that stuff but oh my gosh i'm warning you right now a puppy is a ton of work no one talks about how much work having a puppy is but it is so worth it i love having her as my studio buddy and i can't wait for her to grow up and be an amazing dog by the way i'm using gouache for this painting and i didn't really explain what peachtober slash arttober is it's basically an art challenge where you draw every day in october and a bunch of different artists have prompt lists i'm just following peach tober which is furry little peaches prompt list it's super fun when everyone participates so if you're doing a art tober prompt let me know in the comments which one you're doing and what your strategy is i think it'd be really fun to compare strategies definitely should have started this earlier i'm regretting it now because i'm like i have 30 paintings to do and i'm literally going in like two days and this painting is going to be cut short a little bit because i am doing a whole paint with me on this exact painting for my next video so if you have any questions for me on like anything leave them in the comments so i could add them to the voiceover for the next painting yeah okay i'm gonna go now bye okay, i'm gonna stop painting for now because it is 4 30 i painted for about an hour but <laughs> i only got this far Got the background in. It is so gross out and it's getting very dark and I don't want to keep filming my paint with me if it's going to get dark. I'm going to pack up my stuff. I'm going to bring a couple of my sketchbooks home with me as well as that drawing paper so I could get a couple sketches for Peachtober done at home tonight. Clean up the studio a little bit. I have, I don't know if you could see, 
back there is like a cardboard mountain and I need to break all that down to bring to the dumpster. So I'm gonna do that. Miso has been quietly sleeping down there. She's so cute. Brother's on his way to pick me up because it, it looks like it's about to downpour and I do not wanna get stuck in the rain. This is definitely a rainy day in my life because usually I would be walking to the studio. I didn't get any of my steps in today. Oh. Wait, let me go see if that package came in. Well, my book of the month books came, so that is exciting, but the other package did come. And I don't know how much I wanna show you yet because this will be releasing at the end of October. Uh, this is just a sample I've got. This is like, here's a little sneak peek. But I am so happy with this sample, guys. Like I, it's amazing. It, Oh, Miso's awake. Wait, I'll show you like a little part of it, the design. I'm definitely gonna do a pre-order situation for this. So definitely look out for that on either Instagram or here. Day now I have to deal with this. Miso, come here. Let's go, one, two, three. That was so bad because I accidentally moved the camera before I cut to the clean part. So you know what, it does, it's clean, it's clean. spending the day with me and Miso. The rest of the day, I'm just relaxing at home. I'm gonna give Miso a bath later, but I'll probably do a little bit of yoga before I sleep because I'm very sore from sitting all day. Just maybe go on my phone. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much a day in my life. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. But baby, it's breaking